You are a descendant of West Africans who were enslaved here in the Sea Islands, going all the way up from North Carolina all the way down to Florida, but primarily in our South Carolina Sea Islands. They were brought from the coast of West Africa to the low country and enslaved in order to do the labor of the plantations that helped to build America. It's the blending of all of those cultures that came together during the transatlantic slave trade that gave birth to this culture called Gullah. Gullah is the most authentic African culture in America. We think Gullah came from the word Gola. The Gola tribe were rice-growing people in West Africa, and they were brought over to develop rice fields. One of the major reasons why we were selected from the west coast of Africa, especially those rice-producing countries like Sierra Leone, Senegal, Gambia, Angola, the rice coast, was because of our expertise in rice cultivation. We came here with specialized skills, and so we were assigned specific tasks. And if we completed those tasks, let's say by noon, then we had the rest of the day, quote unquote, as free time. They were pretty much left alone certain times in the year. The spirituality of the Gullah people is first and foremost, and family is another aspect. We can just drop one letter from a word and just change the sound all together. We would probably say, oh, we out here in the yard, okay? We wouldn't say that. We say, we're there in the yard. And you really have to know the language to know what we're saying, and, and, and that what really made, people, made us ashamed of it because people say it was broken English that we were speaking, but we were just communicating. I mean, we were talking, it was our language. And what people don't have a language? You cannot have the complete story of American history without South Carolina history. You cannot have South Carolina history without color history.